Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So a month ago I posted this photo on my Instagram and some of you were interested in me filming the makeup look. It was fall inspired so I thought today I will finally film it for you guys. So it is just an easy fall makeup look with warm tones and I think you guys will really enjoy it. So let's get started. If you can tell, I already put on my foundation. I used two different foundations, so I kind of did like a little like foundation cocktail. I used the Catrice HD Coverage Foundation. This is in shade 030 Sand Beige, and I mixed it with the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir in 732. So this is a little warm and this is a little light, so together they work really well. And it's a medium coverage foundation. And to make it a little more glowy, I also added this L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. I really loved using this during the summer and now I'm kind of just using it for fall and winter as well. But I just put a little bit of this. And then I used this beauty sponge and I just blend it all, all over, also down my neck. If you like to put foundation on your ears, you can do that as well. Something else that I already did were my eyebrows. I've been loving this e.l.f. Ultra Precision Brow Pencil. It's in, I think, neutral brown. I love that it has a spoolie on one end and then the actual pencil on the other. And it's like really fine. And I'm actually almost out. I just ordered some more. And then I go in with this Rimmel London Waterproof Coal like pencil. It's in shade Nude. I like filling it in right under here just to kind of make uh, the shape of my eyebrows a little bit neater and cleaner. And it's just really easy. And then I kind of just like pat it in and blend it out. And since I have sparse eyebrows, this really helps. This is by Benefit. This is the 24 hour brow setter. It might be like the best brow setter. It isn't clear. And what I love about it, and I didn't realize it until another YouTuber talked about it, but on one end, it's longer and on the other end it's shorter so I like to use the longer end in the front right here and then I kind of just brush brush to the end and this really helps make the little bit of hair that I have look real and kind of just stand up and fill in the areas that are sparse so now that you guys know the foundation I put on the eyebrows we're gonna go in with concealer I am using the Milani longwear concealer this is in shade light natural 125 so I like to go a little bit lighter under my eyes so if I'm using a concealer for like a blemish I would do something closer to the color of my skin So with whatever I have left on the sponge, I'm actually going to put some on my eyelid. Just a little bit. Next, I'm going to contour my face and I'm using the Rimmel London Insta Duo Contour Stick. So I'm using the darker side. I love it, it's a cream. So right there, here, the forehead, and under the chin. And then if you need to, you can take the sponge that had your foundation and concealer and blend just a little more. So now that all of my cream products are on, I'm gonna go into the powder. I do use a bit of powder only because I do have oily skin. So if you don't, I don't think you need this much powder. But specifically for my under eyes and around my nose, I go in the Rema London Stay Matte Powder. And then I use the sponge and I just focus under the eyes. And this really helps from, uh, so the concealer doesn't move around because right under here, my concealer will move everywhere if I don't do that and I'll just crease like crazy. And this just helps prevent the creasing from happening. And then I do my smile lines. And then if you really want to, if you want to make it uh, more glam, you want to chisel your face, you can like go and use this side and go under like right here to really define 
your cheeks and your jawline. But I'm not gonna do that this time because I don't believe I did that in the photo. So for the rest of my face, I'm using the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. I think there are three shades. I got medium. You can probably use light in the winter time. But I like how it has this stopper right here so it doesn't so the powder doesn't like get everywhere and it gets all messy. That's like the one thing with loose powder, it gets quite messy. And then I'm using the e.l.f. Flawless Face Brush. This is my favorite brush. And I just swirl, tap, and then I go in. And then I'll brush off any excess under the eyes and mouth. And then I also set in uh, the foundation on my neck with a little bit of powder. Just because I did add a little bit of foundation there. And then my forehead. So for this look, I didn't use any blush. I actually went in with the Remmel London Radiance Brick. Like a bronzy shimmer. And I used the e.l.f. blush brush. So I use this for blush, bronzer, you can even use it for highlighter. But I focused down here since it's a little bit lighter. I'm using the Naked Heat palette. This is one of my favorite palettes. I think I got it last year and I use it so much. So first, I'm going in with the shade Chaser in the crease and then I'm gonna go in with Sauce. And I'm using the e.l.f. Blending Brush, a clear collection. I have like almost all the brushes from that collection. It's like the best. I don't have much of a crease. I'm gonna fake it with shadow. All right, to have the first base done, I did the crease. Now I'm gonna define it a little bit more. And again, I'm gonna go in with Sauce, the shade next to Chaser, so a little bit darker, but I'm changing the brush and I'm using the e.l.f. Detailed Crease, crease Brush. I really like this one. If you have small eyes, very small crease or non-existent crease, this works really well. So I just need a little bit. And I'm gonna focus it right here. This is just going to add some depth since I am going to add some shimmer on my eyelids. So I'm going to repeat those two steps but on my lash line, my lower lash line. And I'm using the e.l.f. Small Smudge Brush. Again, another great brush if you have small eyes. So I'm gonna go in with Chase, Chaser, the lighter color, and just smudge it in. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the shade Scorched right here. It's like a shimmer. It's like almost like a maroon, a maroon brown. So I'm gonna go in and blend, blend it a little more since I used my finger. And for my eye, I kind of like to wing out the shadow. I think it really accentuates uh, my eye shape. So sometimes if I blend a shadow out, especially a dark color, and it kind of goes too high by like the brow bone, I will go in with a blending brush. This is from Eco Tools. I've had this forever. I only use it where there's like no um, eyeshadow on it, so it's like a clean brush. So I will use the uh, the Rema London Stay Matte Transparent Powder. Whatever powder you use for your face, you could use that or even an eyeshadow that kind of matches your brow bone. I'll go in with a little bit, and I'm just gonna clean it up. So I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I like to do that first before eyeliner because sometimes the eyeliner will actually transfer on here. So I like to do this step before. Kind of looking at my eyes closely, I think I want to add a little bit more of sauce just because it kind of disappeared from that shimmer eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna add a little more to the corner. So instead of using a typical brown or black eyeliner for this look, I'm gonna go in with the Rema London Stay Put Eyeliner. 
This color is picante. I think, isn't in Spanish picante like hot? It's in 08. I like that it has a smudger on the end and it just, you can just roll it up and down. Okay, so after I winged it out and smudged it a little more, the eyes are ready to go. So in my photo, I think I just wore mascara, but I might put on some fake lashes. We'll see. But I'm gonna go in with this like primer. It is by Rema London, the Ultimate Boost Volume Primer. And then in with the uh, Thrive, the Thrive Cosmetics. This is the Liquid Last Extension Mascara. It is the best mascara ever. It's the best. I have barely any eyelashes. I've talked about this mascara all summer long. It is so good. Um, I've had it for quite a while. I'm actually surprised that there's still some product left. I'll have to definitely get another one soon. I never thought about using primer on my eyelashes, but it actually works in making them look thicker and also longer. So with whatever mascara you like using, um, I just like doing this extra step. And then with this mascara, it is so easy to take off. It's It says it's a tubing mascara, so it comes in like, I don't know how to explain it, like pieces, so it's like really easy to take off. I believe it's waterproof because anytime my eye will like tear up because of the wind or the changing of the weather, it won't smudge at all. This is one eye done, and then this one just has primer. So it's actually a pretty big difference for my eyes. Especially if you're not into fake lashes, I don't even wear them that often. I'm just gonna do it for the video, but this looks really nice. If you do decide to put on fake lashes like me, I like these. This is the Ardell Naked Lashes. I think they're new. I've already used these a few times. It's in the number 420. And they're really nice because I have small eyes and most lashes will look way too big or just kind of too crazy because I don't have much of a crease. I have small eyes, so lash lashes are kind of tricky for me. And then the glue I like to use is by Kiss. And I think it dries clear, yeah. So it's really easy. So now I'm gonna go in with highlighter. This is the e.l.f. Glow Highlighter. And I'm using the same brush I did with the bronzer contour, just a, a separate one that's clean. And then I like to use a little bit and go on the inner tear duct of my eyes. Sorry, sometimes I like cover this so then you guys can't see anything. Still new to doing tutorials. I guess technically this is my first one on YouTube. I've done one or two on my Instagram. All right, we are at the very end. I'm just gonna add some Dew Mist. This is by L'Oreal. I've used it so many times. It is so good. I think it might be my third or fourth bottle. I love it because it gives just a nice glow. It has a really great nozzle, so it really just goes on the face nicely. It's not too strong. And then if you need to, I sometimes, if I know I'm gonna wear this look all day long, I'm gonna, I would go in with like the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This is just a travel size one, but this time I'm not since it's already at the end of the day. So I'll be taking off this makeup in a couple of hours. You know what I forgot? I didn't put on lips. So technically this is the last thing I have to do. So I'm using the Flower Beauty Lip Liner in Petal Pout. Oh, it's Petal Pout Puffy. And then I'm gonna go in with the Rema London Moisture Renew 700 Nude Delight. This is so creamy, so creamy. And then in the center, I'll just put the lighter color so I'm pretty sure I use gloss in the look, so I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of gloss. This is the e.l.f. Limp Plumping Gloss in Champagne Glam. I'm just gonna focus it on the center. All right guys, so this is the finished makeup look. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Just something a little bit different than your typical either smoky eye or neutral look. But make sure to subscribe to my channel, like, comment below what do you think of this look. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!